worry about the passport. Don't worry about boarding the plane because I'm going to introduce you to Isabella Bertuccio, the owner and chef of La Fontanella on Indian School in Phoenix, joining us to explain how we can actually take this, I don't know, like a tour of our taste buds, a culinary tour, if you will. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. The preparation this morning, I have just been in awe of. I mean, you have been slicing and dicing and you are really putting a lot of heart and soul into this. Well, heart. There's a lot of heart. Yeah. <laughs> Artichoke we hearts, that is. <laughs> We're going to um, prepare some artichoke Sicilian style. Sicilian style. And uh, they're called alla greca because there's some Greek influence in Sicily. Okay. And um, here I have already some cleaned up. I have quartered them. Okay. So that they can be easily served as side dishes rather than having a whole artichoke being a main course. Okay. Now, so, why are you soaking them in water? Is there a purpose to that? Um, this is not just plain water, it's water with a little bit of vinegar, which I always have a little um, bottle of vinegar c close to me when I'm preparing vegetables so that they don't turn dark. Oh, okay. So water okay. with vinegar will keep them from turning dark. And I'm putting them in water. First, they need to be washed and to be kept from turning dark until okay. I'm finished cutting them all up. Show me the tricks to cutting an artichoke because I'll be honest. Well, first of all, you have to have a sharp knife. A very good knife and a, a good size knife. Okay. And then the direction you cut it makes a difference. So if you cut it this way, you may have more resistance, so you cut it from the trunk okay. toward the front and down. All right. And then again. So when we talk about the artichoke heart that we eat in the can, if we, we're talking about, about this part right here? If you were to do an artichoke heart, you would keep the, the artichoke whole to start off okay. with and start peeling back all the leaves and leaving the, the very tip of okay. the leaf, which is the tender part, okay. on it, and then trimming off all the outer green leaves to where there's only yellow leaves and the heart of the artichoke. Okay. And then the beard needs to be removed. And sometimes there's some times in the year that you don't see the beard, but you can definitely see it now. It's kind of spiky. The one before this one had a longer beard. <laughs> um, and so you just remove it because it's, it's, um, it can tickle on the way down. Now, what's the name? <laughs> <laughs> what is the name of this dish? Is this, this is artichokes a la greca. Okay. I have tweaked it a little bit by cutting them and making them individual. Otherwise, they're normally baked whole, standing up uh -huh. on top of the stove with a little bit of steam and olive oil and garlic. I cannot wait to try one. So <laughs> once we've gotten this prep part of the process done, what, where does it go from there? It goes from there? From here? We wash them. Okay. And then we drain them and put them in a bowl. That is a big bowl. A big bowl because I want to toss it without hurting myself. Sometimes <laughs> there are some very, very oh, sharp, sharp edges. thorns on these. Okay. And if you're a novice, if you're a novice, it'd probably be better to take and remove these little thorns. Oh, okay. Now, where did you, did you learn this recipe? Is it a family recipe? Is there a story behind it? Um, the recipe is a classic Sicilian recipe. But in your um, family, did you have my any mother, kind of stories, or, you know, that, you, that surrounded this uh, artichokes, was it Del Greco? Alla Greca. Alla Greca. Well, in this part of uh, Sicily, they prepare it this way, so it's very, um, it's very popular um, in the western part of Sicily. Okay. and. Uh, it's kind of treat. I don't remember any of my friends when I was a little girl not loving artichokes. So now, did you grow up in Italy or did you grow up here? I grew up in Chicago, okay. Little Italy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but but your but your grandparents all from, from. I was actually born in Italy also. Oh, okay. So yeah, I was four years old when I came, and uh, but I grew up in Chicago in a little Italian neighborhood. Tuscan Italian, because my mother is Sicilian, my father is Tuscan, so okay. I have two wonderful you got regions, the best to, of both. <laughs> regions to draw absolutely. from. Absolutely. Now, you're gonna now I'm going to salt them, and this is a trick, okay. because if you just salt them on top, what you're going to do is just make the sauce salty and not the artichoke. You need to get to the base of the artichoke. Now, can we... And I use the word loosely, but damage it, I mean, to the point where it wouldn't look nice and pretty like this if we pull these leaves back too, too aggressively? Um, no, I don't think you would damage it, but um, it would, um, 
It would just not look as long okay. and, and, and showy. And you also need to have, you also, was, it, it you also to need have to have partner. some place to um, pull, you know, because you're going to take this leaf by leaf. Can we overdo it on the salt? And we're using sea salt. Yeah. Uh, yes, you can. But, okay. but. Is this about an no, appropriate you're amount? No, you're okay. doing fine. You're doing fine. We just won't season it too much everywhere else. Okay. Okay, after we get all of these done, and let's pretend these are all done. Okay. Okay. We're just going to add some fresh minced garlic, it looks like. I have nine cloves of garlic for four artichokes. Okay. And a half a cup of parsley. Okay. And, you know, in cooking, you don't have to be afraid of having the exact amount. It could be a little bit variation. It'll still be good. You know, Italian housewives no olive make oil a on lot top? of this. Yes. Okay. We're going to do olive oil now. Is this it? No. The olive oil is here. And then this is going to go into the oven. And as soon as we coat this uh -huh. with a generous amount, because this is going to be our sauce, our dipping sauce as well. Then we'll kind of put it all together. We're going to fast track the process and then we're going to um, catch up as we move on to the main course. Okay. Absolutely amazing. Oh, thank Thanks you. Thanks so much.